So does Tom Emmer is about to be the third most powerful member of the U.S. House. Republicans voted him majority whip today. Political reporter Theo Keith with what that means. Tom Emmer is now the number three House Republican in what's about to be a GOP majority. Tuesday, Emmer won a contested whip race on the second ballot over members from Indiana and Georgia. Emmer speaking after the vote. Uh, we will be the only check on the Biden administration uh, in a Democrat-controlled Senate over the next uh, two years. Uh, we're excited to get to work. We're excited to be back in the majority. Emmer won despite a disappointing showing by Republicans in last week's elections that he oversaw as the GOP's campaign chair. Republicans expected a red wave. Instead, they got a ripple. A week after the election, control of the House hasn't been officially decided, though with about 15 races still not called, Republicans are poised to hold a very narrow majority, says the U's Catherine Pearson. I thought that might hurt him in what was always going to be a competitive bid for the whip position. But I think relationships are really key uh, to understanding the, the, why he won. The narrow majority puts added importance on the whip, who tries to get all members to vote in line with the party through some combination of arm twisting, carrot dangling and personal relationships. It will be hard for party leaders to get 218 votes um, because some Republicans may find that the legislation isn't conservative enough or is too conservative. And so it will be uh, Representative Emmer's job to make sure that those concerns are addressed to get to that 218th vote. Emmer continues a political comeback. 12 years ago, he went down in defeat against Mark Dayton in a very close Minnesota governor's race. He went on to win election to Congress in a seat that represents parts of the West and North Metro. Theo Keith, Fox 9.